Well, in fact, if you live here, you're in the outdoors, really. We have a nice sized community, but yet there's so much open space, so many fields, so many woods. It's right there for you uh, anytime you want to reach out and take advantage of it. John James Audubon State Park is kind of a hidden gem. We're right on a very busy uh, highway and a lot of folks don't know what's back here, but once they turn into the park drive and they get to come through the tunnel of trees back to the park, uh, it's a lot an eye-opener for a lot of people. So this gets you outside of the arena, get your horse exposure. You can go in the wooded area, flat, there's some water, a lot of trails, a lot of bridges, and a lot of jumps. So it's a big deal for us just in Little Henderson to get to have the cross country jumps here. We're actually known to be a birding hot spot. The amount of waterfowl that come in is just amazing. Also, we get a lot of shorebirds. You know, you never know, a, a, a rare bird might come in. So it might be one little old bird this big, but because the word gets out, we will find it. It's worth a trip to Henderson just to see that. How important it is to walk, to keep walking, keep moving. You can quickly get to a place where you can take a nice long walk through the parks downtown. You can continue along the river walk to Atkinson Park, all the way to Hayes Boat Ramp. You can just get as much as you want. Just to think about uh, all the wildlife that was here and really is still here. A lot of the woods are gone, but a lot of the woods remain. There are probably many different reasons why people come to visit a park, but each one that comes is treated as a guest. We want them to experience everything uh, in a very friendly, open manner. We want them to feel at home here.